I'm saying a lot of very unbelievable things, and I'd like to make it a little bit concrete for a moment by talking to the nerds among you. Um, there are many people in our civilization who've been to uh, at least undergraduate education and understand how we deal with uh, fields that describe everything in our universe. These might be electrical fields, they might be magnetic fields, they might be gravitational fields. And always we do so by defining a field which I, I will call phi, and it's always a function of our three special, spatial variables, x, y, and z. And it always is useful to apply calculus to these fields to try to understand what their properties would be in response to various forces and how they would respond on the particle uh, constituent of the universe. And so we, we take uh, the derivative of this function, uh, this expressed with a gradient operator, and this then means that we want to ask you to take the derivative of dx, um, I'm sorry, d, dx, and also look at the phi, dy, and then also the component for the third. So these are the um, spatial de derivatives for the three principal directions. Now, in principle, there are other kinds of fields that we describe as vector fields. And so if you imagine that any point of space, there is a magnetic field that uh, guides us to the North Pole, and that's a field that goes approximately in this direction, then how do I describe um, the properties of this field? It would have a gradient that's stronger in some places and weaker in other places. How do I describe that? Well, I do that by defining a vector field, and that's described by D, and it would be a function of x, y, and z, and I will show it a vector in this way, and now I can talk about the gradient of that field being the derivative, and it is computed in this way, um, that means that there are um, components of db, dx, and db, dy, and db, dz, and all of these now define components of a vector which is now the spatial derivative of the original field. And this allows me to make a description of how is a magnetic or a gravitational or electrical field behaving in adjoining parts of space. We call that the calculus of fields. 